Welcome back. Scaleform GFX UDK Integration Video Tutorial 3 will cover adding a Swift to a BSP. Tutorial 3 covers basic Unreal Editor 3 operations, required to put a material on a BSP surface, as well as the Kismet scripting required to view a GFX Swift asset. For this tutorial, we'll first need to load a sample level. I'll assume you're already capable of creating a simple level. Any old level will do, but for this tutorial, it's best to use a simple empty room such as this. In order to apply the material to the BSP object, simply select one of the faces. I'll select this one here. Next, open the content browser. Be sure to fully load MyScaleform demo package if it isn't already loaded. Inside the package, click on the SF demo underscore mat material. Close the content browser. Right click on the face of the selected BSP and select Apply Material SF Demo underscore Matte. You should see the face turn green. Now that we've applied the material, we need to set up the Kismet in order for the Swift asset to actually be played. To do this, press the Kismet icon to open the window. The first thing you'll need is a level loaded Kismet node. Add a new action. GFX UI. And finally, select Open GFX Movie. Connect Level Loaded and Visible to the Open GFX Movie node. Open the Content Browser again and select the Swift. Return to Kismet. Click on the Open GFX Movie node you created. Press the green arrow to insert the Swift into the movie field. In order to make sure the Swift file is displayed on the BSP object, we need to set the render texture used by OpenGFX Movie. Return to the content browser. Select the render texture that we created. Return to Kismet. Now, just press the green arrow to enter its path into the render texture field. If you skip this step, the flash file will display full screen as if it were the HUD. If the flash file is to have transparency, which in the case of this tutorial it does, you'll need to set the render texture mode to RTM underscore alpha composite. Now save the level. Test your movie by pressing the Play This Level in Editor window button. As you can see, we have our working Swift on a BSP surface. And this concludes tutorial 3. The same basic procedure with some modification can be used to add a Swift material to a static mesh object. In tutorial 4, we'll show you some initial Kismet actions that will allow you to interact with the Swift file.